Hello everyone, my name is Lisa. I am one of the matchmakers here at Midwest Matchmaking. Um, today we are going to talk about some really common dating profile mistakes that we see here at Midwest Matchmaking. Um, and then I'll give you some tips on how to avoid them or how to fix them if you find that you already have them on your profiles. So the first one I want to talk about, first thing everyone sees is your photo, of course. Um, whether we like it or not, if we have a bad picture, people are probably not going to continue reading if they're not interested in what they see. Um, so we want to make sure that it is a good representation of you first and foremost. And then we also want to make sure that it's a clear, like really good quality photo. So um, some tips to make it clear, good quality. We want it to be focused. You don't want blurry photos with technology today. There's really no reason for that. Um, you want to make sure it's well lit. Don't use filters. I see people upload pictures all the time of like the filters, like the Snapchat filters. Um, it's, it's not really a good look and it's going to turn people away if you're not like a teenager. So stay away from the filters. Um, get somewhere well lit by a window. Don't, don't use selfies. Um, if you don't have someone that can snap a few for you. I have had clients recently with um, really good luck using the cell timer on their phone. So that's always an option. Um, you can do group photos. You can do like pictures that show hobbies of you out and about, but it's really important that you have a couple clear ones of like just you kind of super plain. Um, do like a close up like headshot, like maybe shoulders or like chest up. And then also throw in a full body shot as well. Um, and then of course, smile in your photo. That should go without saying, but if you're online dating, you're wanting to meet someone, so you wanna look approachable. If you are doing like duck lips, or if you're not smiling, or you're like you're grimacing, or like making a funny face, um, it just kind of gives off the wrong impression. So um, putting on a big smile will make you look friendly, approachable. If you have trouble just like smiling on command, try and think of something funny that recently happened or someone of someone that makes you smile. Or um, another way to get a good like genuine smile is to fake laugh. And then usually it comes across as a little bit more genuine or maybe you'll just feel so silly fake laughing that you'll actually find yourself smiling. Um, so next, once people get past your clear, well-lit, pretty photo, they want to read a little bit about you. So don't make your profile generic and boring. Um, you want to make sure you're writing about yourself and then also telling your matches a little bit about your hobbies. They want to get a sense of like who you are, what you enjoy, what you might have in common, and then also like what... Um, they could picture their life like if the two of you were to start a relationship. So with that being said, as far as hobbies go, it's okay to put like some solo hobbies in there, but make sure you're putting like some social hobbies in there as well that you could do like with a partner or like you and your partner could do like with a group of friends or family. Again, just so they can picture like how life would be like, should, you, should the two of you start dating. Um, also, when you write about yourself, make sure you're putting some thought into it instead of just like listing off like the things you like or the qualities you have try to kind of tell us a story so um saying you're easygoing adventurous you love to travel that could be just about any person online dating so um, make it like a little bit unique and different make yourself stand out a little bit um, identify maybe like why you're easygoing or adventurous or like to travel instead of just telling us that you are. Show us that you are. Um, so let's say you are adventurous instead of if your profile right now says I'm adventurous, maybe change it up a little bit to tell us why. So maybe like you just booked a scuba diving trip or are taking like solo skydiving lessons. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, you don't have to go too into detail, like as far as what it entails, but that might be like a good icebreaker for your date. So um, let's say you're online dating and you see that someone's adventurous and they just took up scuba diving lessons. 
Um, good icebreaker questions might be to ask them how it's going or if they have any trips planned to um, utilize their new skills or anything like that. Or like if you're adventurous as well and you like scuba diving, then we could talk about that too. Um, having your profile incomplete is almost as bad as having a generic and boring sounding profile. Um, when you're online dating, it's because you want to find someone to spend the rest of your life with, ideally. So if you aren't filling out your profile, the matches will probably just skip right over you because it's just, people kind of see it as you're not taking th things seriously. You don't, you're not really wanting to put in like the time um, that it takes to fill out a profile. So why would you f put in like time and effort into a relationship either? Um, and then on the flip side of that, don't tell your whole life story on your profile. Um, you want to leave some things to talk about on the first date, some things for them to discover like as you continue to get to know each other. Um, too much information on a first date, something that might scare away someone before they even meet you. They'll, they might meet you in person and find that out like several dates in and realize, okay, that is actually something that I, I can deal with because he has all of these redeeming qualities about him. So make sure you fill it out. But again, don't tell your whole life story. Don't put too much thought into it. Don't like overthink it. Um, spend like 10 minutes on it and call it good. Um, also though, before you call it good, make sure you are checking your profile for like grammatical and spelling errors. Um, it makes you look like lazy and uh, unintelligent and again like you don't care if you're not checking for like those basic things that should be a super easy fix again this is your one chance to make a really good first impression on these people that you're wanting to meet so um, overlooking things like that can be can be pretty detrimental det detrimental to mutual matches um, and then last this should go without saying but we do have clients who come in here all the time and they've done the whole online dating and they're um, not only finding not quality people, but they're also finding people who aren't what they say they are online. So goes without saying, but be honest on your online dating profile. If you lie about like your age or relationship status or like occupation, if you have kids or not, um, people are going to find that out eventually. And I think it goes without saying that if you start the relationship off on a lie like that, it's not going to go well. Um, and then that kind of goes back to the photos too. One thing I forgot to mention is to make sure your pictures are accurate and recent. Um, here at Midwest Matchmaking, we usually, um, COVID has like some things changed around right now, but usually we only allow people to use profile pictures that were taken like by our photographer or taken here at the office so we can ensure accuracy. That's another thing we hear a lot of, of our clients who have been online dating. They'll say like they got to the bar and they completely like overlooked the person that they were supposed to be meeting because their pictures that they had online that they thought they looked like now were actually from like 10 years ago. So um, that's one that should be super obvious. Like people are gonna find it out right away. So it's better to just be upfront and honest. Um, so those are my tips. Those are like just some really basic tips when you're starting out online dating. There are other things like you can look a little deeper into, um, and that is something that we could do for you as well. So sometimes when a client set, like isn't getting a lot of action on their profile as far as mutual matches, we can take a look and say, okay, people are declining you because you have this on your profile and it's coming across wrong or like this that you thought was funny is just a little overboard or whatever else the case might be. So that's one of the benefits of using our service. Um, if you want to hear about other benefits of using our matchmaking service over like the online dating, um, you can give us a call. Our number here is 402-991-4053. You can also just shoot us an email. Um, Courtney, the owner, would love to hear from you. Her email address is Courtney at MidwestMatchmaking.com. And then also, if you want additional tips um, for dating, relationships, anything like that, feel free to message us here, and we're happy to touch on it in our next live video. 
So we look forward to hearing from you soon and thanks for tuning in.